father's lightsaber. The weapon of the Jedi Knight. Before the dark times. Before the Empire. This is where the fun begins. Hey there, Saber friends, Space Windu here from Civilized Sabers. I thought you'd like to see our contest winning lightsaber. This one is the Exoflex or the Ancient Graflex over at Civilized Sabers. Harris and I made this lightsaber together. We knew we wanted to enter the contest over at FX Sabers, and that contest said that you had to use something of a flash gun. It didn't have to be real vintage, but it had to be a flash gun body or a flash gun indication of a flash gun and we wanted to do something that represented the one and only first lightsaber in the movies which is the Graflex lightsaber but some kind of ancient interpretation where maybe it was a staff lightsaber that got cut into kind of like Cal Kestis from the latest video game Jedi Fallen Order something along those lines I made over 15 shroud pieces for this lightsaber. I like to do what I call MST, which is multi-shroud technology. So I like to put shrouds over shrouds. I have some of that going on on this lightsaber where I take one piece of metal and hand trim it down until it's the shape I want with the intention of actually putting another shroud that I hand cut and shaped and sanded over top of it and I drill the holes for the rivets for the screws right through both and I get the effect of a raised metal piece almost like the side of a ship the side of a Star Wars spaceship or something where you may have have to have done a repair or it's just the pieces of the hull that are on in different ways now star wars being asymmetrical in designs i chose to do that here as well so what's on one side isn't necessarily on the other side and that's really shown in the emitter but also down at the bottom near the what would be the pommel if there was a pommel but this has an open speaker and the cords and the conduits are kind of hanging out there. Now, some of the cords and conduits uh, are accent LEDs, and those show as if, you know, there was electricity going through those conduits, and when it was cut, maybe you can see the energy still in there. So let's take a look at it with the blade. What I did here was I put the KR pixel stick inside of a trans white blade tube over at Civilized Sabers. I call that the K Star. It is actually the brightest blade. It is 
over 10,000 on the Luxmeter on certain colors, which is pretty amazing. It's a pixel lightsaber with millions of colors available. Some of the ones I'm showing you today are at the end of the video. So you'll see purple and yellow and green and white. It, but it can do any kind of color you want to do and it will change colors on the fly. Some of the colors I have programmed in that go or you know that I think go with the fonts. I've got a lot of different blade styles that I put on the saber from FET263 on YouTube. Uh, this has a profi board, so it's an open source board with a lot of different features, and one of those is being able to choose your own blade styles. And FET263 on YouTube has some really great tools to uh, find your blade styles and put them in your profi board lightsaber. Now a lot of these parts that we chose for this Graflex are actual Graflex parts off of a real Graflex and even some of the shrouds, as many as I could do, are from that Graflex hilt body. So I only use the top of the body and the rest of the body uh, I used for the shrouds and you can tell if you really really look close up at the hilt that some of the shroud pieces some of the body shapes that I formed uh, are out of brass and you can tell which ones which ones those are when you look at the edges so there's beveled edges and when you see the beveled edges are almost like a gold color that's because, because of the 1940s shell that was used here, the real vintage shell. Now I do have uh, sounds from my favorite sound makers, including Kyberphonic, K-Sith, Grayscale, and Jedi Arms Dealer. Now we do have a 10 segment RGB pixel auxiliary uh, strip which is controlled by the profi to act like a crystal chamber and that's not the only pixel accents there are we also have this awesome glass eye accent made by Harris that has a speaker grill front to it and a neopixel single flora behind that speaker grill so when you look close up, you get this really nice effect of, of the uh, pattern on the speaker grill. So the way I have it set up is the main button for power on and power off. The scrolling of the NeoPixel blade is the red button at the top. So it's like the Ray or the Empire Strikes Back activation. Now one thing I, I like about this uh, hilt is that any way you look at it, you do see something something different. Um, whether it be a Graflex Q, a special brass part that we added, or just a really, really one-of-a-kind uh, shroud work at the bottom that I really like like rolling the hilt around to see the different sides of it. Um, in 3D. Now if you want to see the way I made it you can stay around toward the end of the video. I will show the build pics and the drawings of what we did to actually design the saber which was a, uh, a quick drawing on the mirror with you know whiteboard markers and I'll, I'll show you those at the end. blade is nice and even with the with the foam that covers the KR pixel stick the K star
and your auxiliary button is in the clamp card. Let's see what this saber can do. So I just changed the font. If anyone with a keen eye will spot some parts from other lightsabers in this lightsaber as well, such as a grenade section grip piece from an Obi-Wan slash Luke Skywalker lightsaber. But with the multiple shrouds on top of each other, it gives a different effect altogether. Now if you want to see how to operate this saber, I will show that toward the end of the video. I'll give some operating instructions. The switch is a little bit hidden for the, uh, the actual power of the saber. So there's, uh, there's no kill key, but there is a kill switch. So it's a very small switch that you can access with a tool to uh, just save the, save the power if you're going to store if you're going to store the lightsaber, you can flip the switch and the battery will you won't use any juice.
I just love the fire blade. I always have to add that. Pixel does a great job of a fire blade, and this, this being an ancient lightsaber, I think it works. Okay, so what you want to do to turn on the saber is you look for this part right here. Each of the shrouds looks different, so you find this one right here, and you might be able to see a little switch is right there. Scoring here it looks like you boys have seen a lot of action. And you'll see you'll have the accent light, one of them, and then when you turn the saber on, you'll have three accent lights down there. And you'll have your 10 segment Neo Pixel right there, and your Neo Pixel accent right there. And of course, if you Put your blade plug in. You'll have blade plug action. Like that. Auxiliary button is on the pad. Thank you to my friend Mundo who made that pad for us. This circuit board right here, it is beautiful. Thank you Mundo Cabrera for this beautiful circuit card custom made for this lightsaber and the red button over here on the top is like Ray style or Empire Strikes Back on off now if you want to charge the saber what you do is let's turn it off first we're gonna find this area right here that's the shroud. Let's see if I can zoom in on the switch. Switch is right there. Be able to see it a little easier in person. What I'm going to do is turn this off to gain access to the charger. This screw right here. I'm going to undo this one a little bit. I'm going to undo the bottom one. And we're going to move this shroud piece aside to gain access to the charge port for the 3.7 volt lithium ion battery right here. It's a Keep Power brand lithium ion battery. It's got a USB charger. We're going to stick that right in there for charging. And then plug the other side into your USB. And as you can see, when the Sabre is charging, there is a little red light there to indicate that the battery is charging and when it's fully charged you'll see that little light turn to green. Inside the emitter are the brass pogo pins in the shape of a star to represent civilized sabers. This blade's pretty unique because it's made with a Civilized Sabres pixel plug, which has five onboard LEDs already that match the blade's pixels and perform the same effects. So what that means is that the light just starts way, way at the base of the blade. So there's no loss of light at all on this blade. It's completely packed with NeoPixel LEDs. This knob right here is the blade retention screw. You can screw it with your fingers so you don't need a special tool to tighten up the blade or the blade plug. 
Okay, well thanks for taking a look at this lightsaber. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed to Civilized Sabers, subscribe right here for more awesome blades and lightsabers. <laughs>